Haïti, pays ancien. Bonsoir. Tout le monde qui a de nous là. Et nous disons bon Dieu merci pour grâce que le fait nous. As you know, today is uh, the Haitian Flag Day. It is a big moment. This is the 218 years of celebration of this flag. This is great to have you today. But you know, before we do everything, we have to start by prayer. At this time, we call Reverend Sandra Delisme for the opening prayer. Please take the position that is possible to you. Bow your heads as we start praying. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We come before you to thank you, to bless you, to magnify your name because you are the Alpha and Omega, the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. We thank you for each and every one of us this evening, celebrating May 18, 2021, which marked the Haitian Flag Day. We thank you for the great city of Brockton, the city of champions, who willingly opens its arms to welcome all immigrants. We ask that you continue to bless the mayor, the city council, all other elected officials, the religious leaders, the business owners, the dignities, and everyone who made it possible for us Haitians to celebrate the Haitian Flag Day. That represent our identity, which stand for unity and strength. I ask you will grant us the wisdom to really comprehend the meaning of our flag, l'union fait la force. There is strength in unity, or in Haitian Creole, ensemble nous four. Father, I bring the needs of the Haitian government before you and ask you to bless our nation and declare you are Lord over this nation. As you say in 2, Chron in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from the wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive the sins and will hear their limbs. Si mon peuple, ce qui est invoqué, mon nom s'humilie, puis et cherche ma face, et s'il se détourne de sa mauvaise voie, je l'exaucerai des cieux, je lui pardonnerai son péché et je guérirai son pays. I pray for the spiritual leaders of our country that they will hear your voice and know your heart. They will lead from the knees and by that simple grace bring each one of us to our knees as well. Father, let this flag day be not only a day to celebrate the anniversary of our flag, but a day of friendship and harmony for a better tomorrow. Continue to bind us together, Lord, with cords of love and peace. For Father, we ask that you grant us that peace, that you are the author of peace, and the peace you give is unlike anything that can be found on earth. We ask, therefore, for this peace. Seigneur, nous disons merci pour grâce et amour et fidélité bénie de ce que encore une fois nous capables là encore Seigneur pour l'autre année. Quoi que année passée, nous pas capables fêter, mais année ça offre nos grâces. In spite of COVID-19, we can come before you, Father God, as just like I said before, because parce que où c'est Seigneur, où c'est Mère et Seigneur Père. Que tout ça qui va faire là pendant un moment, ça, Seigneur, il est capable de faire pour ta gloire et pour ton honneur. Et par ça, nous prions dans le nom de précieux de ton fils Jésus-Christ qui vit et qui règne au siècle des siècles. Amen. 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 This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad at it. C'est ici la journée que l'Éternel a faite, qu'elle soit pour nous un sujet d'allégresse et de joie. I would like to welcome every one of you. We make the sacrifice to be here this afternoon. I am Pastor Matthew Delisme, and I will be the host for this ceremony. Now, we would like to introduce our mayor of the great city, the city of diversity, Mayor Robert Sullivan. Thank you, Pastor Matthew, and I want to welcome you all here to the City of Champions, the City of Brockton. This is a wonderful day uh, for our community as a whole, and specifically for uh, our Haitian population here. 
uh, but we need to take a moment. I'm a, I'm a Catholic. I'm a Christian. I need to pray right now. We need to take a moment of silence. Brockton has had a, a tragic loss in the last week. Three youngsters have perished and 433 have died because of COVID here in the city of Brockton. So if we could just take a moment and remember their souls. Thank you. May they rest in peace. God bless them. May God grace them. I want to again just thank you all. I want to thank a couple of my uh, my team members, uh, Joe Francois and Jensen Denoise, uh, who have been extremely uh, helpful coordinating today. Uh, Dr. Eno Montesier, who heads up our Board of Health, has been wonderful. I want to welcome and I want to thank Senator Michael Brady for being here today. Thank you, Senator. I want to thank Ward 7 City Councilor and former Council President Shirley Azak for being here today. Thank you, Councilor. The House of Representative Leader, uh, Representative Claire Cronin, Representative Cassie, Representative Dubois are in session today at Beacon Hill. So unfortunately, they cannot be here today. But we do have uh, an outstanding uh, member of the clergy and also an elected official, Tony Branch, Bishop Branch, who represents Brockton. Uh, on the Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical High School. Thank you, Bishop, for being here. I see so many friends here today, and I didn't know if we would be able to do this a month ago because of COVID. But we're here because we're a strong community. And what makes Brockton strong is the, the diversity. And a big part of that is our Haitian community. Since I've become mayor, I have been embraced and loved by the diversity in the Haitian community, from the Haitian pastors Welcome me to their church, to the patient, uh, to the Haitian business owners. That's what makes Brockton so awesome. We come together as one. It is Haitian Heritage Month, the month of May. We must remember that. And today is the flag day. So as mayor and as a Brocktonian, I'd like to read a proclamation if I could. Proclamation. Whereas Haiti, a word meaning land of mountains, was given its name by its first inhabitants. Whereas the first black nation to gain its independence in 1804 was Haiti. Whereas for a country's citizens, the national flag is a symbol of great pride with the Haitian community equally as proud. Whereas our vibrant Haitian American community has made tremendous contributions to our city, to our commonwealth, and to our country. Now therefore I, Robert F. Sullivan, mayor of the city of Brockton, do hereby proclaim May 18th, the year 2021, in the city of Brockton, Haitian Flag Day. And I urge all citizens, everybody that lives and works here in the city of Champions, to join me in observing this day and recognizing all of the wonderful contributions the Haitian culture has made to our community. I sign this proudly and seal it the 18th day of May, 2021. Again, the mayor. Robert Sullivan. God bless each and every one of you. Be safe, be well, and together we will overcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. So now I would like to call Dr. Eno Mondesir. Thank you, Pastor Mathieu, Mr. Mayor, Senator Brady, Council Isaac, ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege and an honor to stand here in this circle to talk about the Haitian Flag Day. It is an honor because as I look at the last time and I'm looking at now again, I noticed that this complexion that we refer to scientifically as melanin, it is kind of dark. And Haiti has been victimized of that for quite some time, leading onto its independence in 1803. And seemingly, the pigmentation has not gone away. The pigmentation is here to stay. And so therefore, it is part of the fabric. 
the biological fabric and the social fabric as well. Secondly, I consider it an honor to be here and I want to give my gratitude to Mayor Sullivan because he is my boss. And I remember as I went through the process of the interview, he was one of the interviewers. And it didn't take long to arrive here at the helm of the Burton Health Department. Now, it is a time of great suffering, great difficulty. But I'll get back to that in just a little bit. Let me focus for a few more minutes on the flag day. 1803 and 2021, 218 years. Haiti has been the first black republic in the world, the second one after the United States to take its independence in the Americas. That great pride. However, Haiti is still at a crossroad where it has many challenges. Not COVID, at least not COVID-19. The challenges are there and it is incumbent upon all Haiti's sons and daughters to make sure that they love that mother, they cherish that mother, they care for that mother, because it doesn't matter what your mother looks like, that's your mother. Your mother may not know how to read, but that's your mother. Your mother may be poor, but that is your mother. Your mother may not have the best castle to put you, but that's your mother. You are in the position or you have the obligation to make sure that your mother rises up to the position where she should be. And shame on me, shame on all of us if we don't take care of our mother. Two weeks ago, past this Sunday, in this country we celebrate Mother's Day. It was a great event, and also I pay respect to all the mothers who are here this afternoon. That was a great opportunity to recognize the mothers. Yes, amen. <laughs> I don't want to stop preaching, okay? <laughs> but I simply said this to say, Haiti is that way it should be. And as we all know and we are proud of this model in strength, there is unity. Now, it's good to have great statements, but it's another thing to live and practice great statements. And so therefore, if there is strength in unity, then it is our obligation to find common ground. Now, we all may eat the same thing. We may eat it in a different texture, but if we eat the same thing, irrespective of how we eat it, we should come together and understand that we are all human beings. And we have the same fate, the same background, and so therefore it is our obligation to continue to work together. Today, as we gather here, pendant que nous réunis là comme, en fait, soit Haïtien ou soit Zami Haïti, à nous continuer fixer vos gars, parce que Haïti, Pour tout ça qui a racine en Haïti, Haïti c'est maman nous chaque. Et si maman pauvre, c'est maman non. Maman li riche, c'est maman non. Maman li pas qu'on li, mais c'est maman non. Et gagnons bagay que moi remé en pile dans ancien président John Fitzgerald Kennedy. C'est lorsque il dit compatriotes américains on pas demandé ça pays nous a fait pour nous mais on nous demande plutôt qui ça nous a fait pour pays nous 
si jamais nous aimons Haïti, si jamais nous voulons le bonheur Haïti, bonheur maman nous, les responsabilités nous chaque, le nous camper pour nous représenter les avec fierté. Dans le comportement nous, nous représentons avec fierté, de sorte que les gens nous gardent nous pour ne pas dire oh, on sont haïtiens, mais pour le fier. Pour nous balions y ont responsabilité, pour nous balions moyen pour le capable sentir les fiers. Et si mon Dieu a pleuvé ici, moi espérer que nous enseignons culture non, de sorte que capable grandir avec amour dans le avec le patriotisme la caille. Now let me close by saying that I do love so much that quote of John Fitzgerald Kennedy, former U.S. president, who said to his fellow Americans, don't ask what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country. Now, COVID-19 has impacted each and every one of us indiscriminately. No discrimination whatsoever. It killed Haitians, it kills Americans, it kills Jews, it kills Canadians, it kills everyone. Whether you're black or white, woman, a male, male, female, he doesn't care. That's a common enemy for us all. And as we gather here today, I assume that maybe most of us, maybe most of you have been vaccinated. But for those of you who are not vaccinated yet, I'm going to stand here because I like to know and take your name and make a clinic just for you. If I cannot get you to one of our clinics, parce que na clinic to yo, y a un pile bagay kap di kont vaccin, vaccin a fait mon stérile, vaccin a pour pas dans ciel parce que c'est numéro 666 ou 66 lié. Mais qui t'aime dire que la tiétude moins fait, on a un bout de papier tout. On ne peut aucun côté la donne que le vaccin, c'est un vaccin qui gagne la galade pour faire mon mal. Et c'est ça que fait moi-même avant de parler avec aujourd'hui, je prends tous les deux doses. Le the mayor aussi a déjà pris deux doses. Le dernier mai 11, il a pris sa seconde dose. Et j'ai vu ça. Donc. <laughs> And I know also Bishop Brent also called me to say, where can I get my doses? Amen, amen. So, who is going to say, if you have a person who is not vaccinated, it's not my fault, Magistrat Sullivan, it's not my fault. There are a lot of vaccines for everyone. And if you have a person who is malade, it's the COVID who is not malade. Si on si on on bagaille cap fort malade c'est pas covid peut-être c'est milieu cotoyer mais qui dit dire au vaccin yo pas fait personne malade you don't get diseases from the vaccines OK donc tout le monde qui t'a aimé vacciné qui te nous dit où m'a campé là vous voulez ben non m'a prenons ou du moins m'a invité où samedi si Dieu veut at the Shaw Center qui One Feinberg Way Côté clinique la vaille, samedi matin de 9h à 1h. Ou capable de prendre action là sur Poco. Si vous avez préféré bon nom là, je prends non là. So, because this is an opportunity for us to, to, to remain healthy, to make sure that we remain healthy for our love, for ourselves, for our loved ones, for our community. Donc, à nous, fait tout ça qui dépend de nous pour nous capables de vraiment rester solide et rester en santé. Bill, God bless you. Que le Seigneur vous bénisse. Thank you, Dr. Edo. This is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, now, so I would like to call Josh Maniwesh. So we are going to raise our flag, the Haitian flag. Oh, Haiti. Pays en sécurité, c'est pour marcher, 
Menolame Namiton Pafet Puget Ret Nufet Punsel Meted Nu Anu Mache Menolame Puaiti Kavin pi bel Anu, anu Metet ansom Puaiti Anu Tous anset Yo Pou le drapeau Pour la patrie Mourir est bon Mourir est beau Notre passé nous crie Ayez la marguerite Mourir est beau Mourir est beau Pour le drapeau Pour la patrie Mourir, mourir, mourir Pour le drapeau, pour la patrie Recognize uh, Councillor Jack Lally for being here. Thank you, Councillor. And State Representative Michelle Dubois for being here. Representative, thank you so much. All right, thank you so much. The party just started. <laughs> so now, so we like to call Jean Phyllis. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Matthew. Thank you, Mayor. Appreciate that from a very deep bottom of our heart and you hosting us on this historic day today. And uh, we, thank you, we thank other elected official, uh, Senator Brady. Good to see you again. It has been a while and all of those that I spent a while since I stepped out of Brockton, uh, did not remember those newly elected officials but I thank you all for being here. Councillor Isaac, thank you for being here. Uh, thank you, Dr. Mondizi. It has been a while. I remember 20 years ago, we, we hosted an event like this back in Boston. It was the first of its kind. Thank you for being here. Now, what a coincidence. Uh, I heard Dr. Mondizi talked about our mother, the mothers. And I chose today to talk about a specific mother into the history of this very flag we raised today, the Haitian flag. Here we go. When we think of the Haitian Revolution and the events that ultimately led to our freedom, many times, we point to our founding fathers, Toussaint Louverture, Jean-Jacques Dessalines, Alexandre Pétion, and Henri Christophe. But the revolution could not have been successful without the brave women who not only fought alongside the men, but also trained warriors, nursed, and led ritual ceremonies. They were instrumental at every level. And one of those women, eminent women, is indeed Catherine Flan. It is imperative to highlight the importance of Catherine in the eyes of the Haitian American 
women role in society today because it is she who showed this very Haitian flag on May 18, 1803. This act symbolized the identity and history of the Haitian people. As we celebrate Haitian Heritage Month, let us learn a little more about Catherine Fromm and the history of the creation of the Haitian flag. She was born in the middle of the 18th century in Arcaia, Haiti. She developed early on a passion for sewing and also became a nurse. She found a workshop in her hometown and trained many girls to learn how to sew. She was known for her helpfulness and her seriousness. When the revolution broke out, her parent left the colony for France. As for her, she remained in Haiti to fight against slavery. On May 18, 1803, in Arcaille, Jean-Jacques de Salines obtained the pledges of the generals to unite under his command. De Salines then took the French tricolor of three broad vertical bands and throw out the flag's white band. Symbolizing the French colonial power, he cut it up on the ground and trampled up on it. Then his granddaughter, Catherine Flon, sewed together the remaining blue and red band. This symbolized the union of the blacks and mulattoes under the motto, Liberté ou la mort. Under the motto, Liberty or Death. Catherine Flon, by her significant act of courage, remains today as it is the symbol of the Haitian flag. See, as a father of six daughters, I chose to highlight Catherine Flon for a reason today. A few years ago, I was working here in Brockton run a financial literacy program and homeownership for minority and immigrant in this community. My good friend Joseph Francois was one of the person that ultimately helped open this bank right behind us here, whom I was a head of the task force to open a Liberty Bank specifically for here in the city of Brockton for the Haitian immigrant and minority small business owners. I realized that the immigrant and minority small business owners don't really have a financial institution where they can go to. So we embarked on a project to open a bank that we tailored to their needs. So we opened Liberty Bank right here behind City Hall, right there. But throughout the process, there were no Haitian women business owners involved. To my big surprise, short, short, short few years after that, today, it's a different story. As my good friend Joseph Francois took me around, the organizer of this event took me around, 
visiting Haitian businesses in the city of Brockton. Most of them are owned by Haitian women. Most of them. Yes. So I encourage you to get involved. You are our wives, our mothers, our sisters. Get involved because you are the backbone of the future of this city, this country, Haiti, and society. Again, we thank you for being here. May God bless you, and may God bless the city of Brockton. Thank you. Thank you so much. So now we are close at the end of the program because you know the time is running out. And uh, I would like to call Reverend Sandra in a poem. Oh, before anything else, I'm not the author of the poem. The poem is written by a young lady in our church, in the Brockton Church of God, that she recited Sunday for Mother's Day. And I would like to, I mean, for Flag Days. And um, the credit goes to Junia Richmond and wherever she is right now, because she's in class, that's why she cannot be here with us today, unfortunately. So she had given me the right to go ahead and recite it on her behalf. C'est pas moi-même qui écrit pour elle non, c'est un jeune demoiselle dans l'église de Dieu de Boston qui est dirigé par Bishop Maximo qui écrit pour elle non, c'est une jeunesse. Non, lui c'est Junior Richmond. Haiti, 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 the flag of blue and red, the flag of courage, the flag of respect, the flag of liberty, the flag of freedom, the flag of love, and the flag of blessings. As a proud Haitian, I am nothing but a fortunate young woman to call Haiti my home. For God has covered my ancestors to give us hope. For us to no longer fear or mope. The Haitian flag is a sign for us to rise and take ownership of our country. While we take victory while being humbly silent. Haiti, 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 for I am sorry that our people have taken you for granted. For we all know that you are nothing but enchanted. When I wave that flag of blue and red, I will be marching with God ahead to spread the good news of how we've been liberated. Saying hallelujah, my family loudly exhilarated the flag of courage, the flag of respect, the flag of liberty. It is how I know my country is finally independent. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very good. So now we get to the end. And we would like to acknowledge all the elected officials who are here today, and all the leader, leaders, Christian leaders, the pastors, or everyone who made this day so successful. Thank you so much. Thank you, and God bless you. Merci à Bill. Merci tout le monde qui vient ici. Que Quentin, que Fernando, merci, pasteur, nous tous. Merci à Bill. Thank you so much. Thank you.